time FACO is now possible with a new nuclear splitting technique. The splitting of the nucleus takes place before emulsification. In this video will demonstrate this procedure. On this patient a three millimeter clear corneal incision has already been made and a one millimeter side port incision has also been made. A continuous curvilinear anterior capsulotomy is performed. A viscoelastic is used to maintain the anterior chamber. I irrigate balanced salt solution between the cortex and the anterior capsule. And I also irrigate between the cortex and the nucleus and rotate uh, the nucleus until it is quite mobile. I use no special cannula for this irrigation. The next step is to remove the cortex that is in front of the nucleus so that the nuclear splitting can be better visualized. You can use the FACO handpiece on an irrigation setting as I am doing here. Or you could also use your irrigation aspiration handpiece. Once the cortex is removed, I insert some more viscoelastic, uh, but just enough to plug the wound uh, in order to save enough viscoelastic for the insertion of a foldable lens at the end of the case. Two special uh, nuclear crackers have been designed for this splitting technique because the usual chopping instruments are not quite long enough at the tip. These instruments are manufactured by Brian Medical and I have no financial uh, interest in these instruments. So one instrument goes through the side port incision. The second instrument is has a reverse curve a snuggling type of maneuver is done to position them with a slight downward pressure. The instruments are moved towards each other. I found that I can fracture uh, nuclei up to about 3 plus nuclear sclerosis um, with this technique. Once the two halves are created, I uh, rotate and split the two halves into fourths. Sometimes um, the splitting is very difficult uh, either due to poor visualization, a deep anterior chamber, or a nucleus that is just harder than anticipated. If the nucleus does not split easily, I do not um, force the issue, I merely abandon the technique and proceed with a, a routine fake emulsification. In this case, however, the splitting was successful. I use a, a FACO tip with a zero degree angulation. I have the FACO settings at 360 uh, millimeters of vacuum. 26 millimeters of flow, and the control is linear. The FACO instrument that I use for this <coughs> is the AMO Prestige instrument, which makes this procedure possible due to the advanced fluidics enabling one to achieve high levels of vacuum without collapsing the anterior chamber. In this case, I am using only aspiration and you can see that 
if I were using ultrasound, uh, that when these two metal tips come into contact with each other, uh, pieces of metal would be flying loose in the anterior chamber and both instruments would be damaged. So I sequentially remove the four nuclear fragments that were created by the splitting process, sometimes using stuffing uh, maneuvers, sometimes uh, using chopping maneuvers. Uh, but in this case, the entire nucleus is removed with no ultrasonic en energy. The epinucleus is uh, removed carefully, uh, making sure that uh, no ultrasound energy is turned on because with the high vacuum, the posterior capsule can be uh, snagged and opened with ultrasound. Then I remove the cortex with the irrigation aspiration handpiece. This technique is uh, very attractive uh, for patients with corneal guttata since no ultrasonic en energy is required. Even in cases where some ultrasound energy is required, it's usually markedly uh, reduced. In about one third of my cases, in which I uh, crack the nucleus, I can remove them with no ultrasonic energy. Helon is uh, used to inflate the capsular bag. My average ultrasound uh, time for nuclei that I'm able to crack in this manner is 0.11 ultrasound minutes. I am able to successfully crack approximately 75 to 80 percent of my cases, but this varies depending on how many hard nuclei I have uh, that day. I use a AMO SI 30 NB foldable silicone lens. I like to use a two-step maneuver, uh, passing the septic se second haptic in with a Lester instrument. Then I remove the heland with the irrigation aspiration handpiece. I like to rotate the lens uh, with this instrument feeling that sometimes the rotating haptics free up some helon within the capsular bag. And I inject two milligrams of vancomycin in 